I'm so glad that you found me here. I wanted to take a moment to share with you my top five tips. Whether you're dreaming about starting your own business or you already have, I'm here to tell you what I know to be true. Number one, have passion. There's no point in getting started with your business idea unless you are utterly passionate about it. It will only be successful if you're completely and utterly obsessed. And when I mean obsessed, I mean you talk about it all day, you dream about it all night, and you bore everyone to tears about the entire idea. I was once told by the amazing Sir John Hegarty, who's a gentleman behind famous advertising campaigns, that success is down to enthusiasm. When I looked up the word enthusiasm, it comes from the Greek word enthusiasmos, which means to be possessed by a god. People who are energised, enthused and obsessed by their idea are magnetic. They create luck and opportunity. Number two, have purpose. Long gone is the idea that doing good somehow slows your business down or harms your profit. The future famous brands are those who believe in the triple bottom line, people, planet and profit. Those who really want to connect with their customers. Now you can either do this by building values within your business that you can follow, or like Holly & Co, you can go on the B Corp journey. But basically at the end of the day, it is about creating connection. It's about caring for the environment, caring about your suppliers, caring about your customers, and caring about the footprint your business has on our hearts as much as the planet. Doing good, in my opinion, is not an option. It's what the customers are going to search out when they want to vote with their money. Number three, emotionally connect. Who would have thought 10 years ago that I would have said to be more emotional would have been in my top five tips within business. But as a small business, the ability to emotionally connect with your customer is your superpower and it never should be underestimated. Not only does it save you thousands of pounds in marketing spend, but it's that long-term relationship that you create that will really stand your business in good stead. Connecting at a deeper level means that you truly bond with your customer. It will allow them to forgive you when you make that inevitable mistake, but also tell their friends and family and be your number one marketeer. Number four, trust your gut. This sounds like an obvious point, but my goodness, I wish I'd known this as I built my businesses. Trusting your gut is what I call your internal compass. It's that voice that you know to be true on many, many decisions that you will make. But one of the things that we tend to do is we tend to ignore our gut instinct. And I, for one, would say that this is your number one tool when running a small business. It is difficult to dismiss data or actually tell somebody that they're wrong. But your gut instinct is there to be your guiding light, your guiding principle, and never ever let it be drowned out. It takes practice and unwavering confidence to go with your internal compass. But if you do, I promise you that you won't go far wrong. Number five, you cannot travel this road alone. You need that safety net in the form of your community. When you start a business, it can be a lonely road as a founder, believe you me. And so it's imperative that you find a community you belong to. Now, you can find that community either through a local network or socially online, but you need to know that it is there waiting for you. These can be the people that can give you advice, you can share your product innovation with, a shoulder to cry on, or just literally the wind beneath your wings. You need people to be able to share your highs and lows with. And actually, if you don't find your community, you're going to be missing out. As I said, they are there waiting for you to find them. Being part of something bigger than yourself makes this small business journey utterly magical and unique. If you would like to win a one-to-one 90-minute -one mentoring session with me, all you need to do is sign up to NatWest Business Builder. Good luck. <laughs>